Boom! What's up, y'all? Byron Rogers here, and just coming at you with some perceptual empowerment. And today's video is about something I talk a lot about, but I'm going to hit it from a different angle, and it's emotional intelligence. I make a lot of videos, and I talk a lot about emotional intelligence and, like, your triad-of-state focus physiology conversation, you know, like, it's really heady stuff. It's really, like, one plus one equals two. I understand this cognitively, um, so I understand it, but can I really make it work? You know what I mean? Like, we all have knowledge, but the gap in life that we all perish in is the gap between knowing the path and walking the path, right? So it's just, you know, it's that's the gap. Like, we all know how to lose weight, don't eat crap, go to the gym, you know? We all know how to, you know, like, have more financial freedom, save your money, invest, don't buy expenses because you like them and they look cool, you know what I mean? But any rate, but knowing and doing, now there's the battle, right? So I make all these videos that are so heady, you know, like sometimes just, you know, focus, physiology, conversation, what are you focusing on? What's your physiology telling you about your internal state? Break your internal state by changing your physiology, breathe deep, move differently, right? Um, and, and conversation was a conversation in your mind, right? What are you talking about? What are you dwelling on? You got to realize if you're feeling something, it is a direct reflection of your thoughts. Like I was talking to somebody the other day and they were like, I was like, they're all down and they're all like getting frustrated and having a tough time. And, and I'm sitting here like, man, have some faith. And they're like, they're like, I do have faith, man. I am putting my faith, I, you know, I am having faith. And that's why I'm doing all this. I'm like, you're not having faith because your state right now is not one of power. You got two energies you're working with in life here. You got faith and you got fear. Fear is going to hide itself and turn it to act like it's wisdom sometimes. And intelligence. Well, the smart thing to do is, yeah, okay. Fear can turn itself into almost anything in order to try to maintain control over you and your life, right? Faith. Faith is, you can be afraid in the face of adversity, but if you're operating by faith, you're still moving forward. Every single cell in your body is either in protection mode or growth mode, expansion. This is epigenetics, but it's just a true about our world and our reality. Everything's either in protection, fear, or expansion, faith. And there are appropriate times when absolutely any and every one of these energies is actually usable. It's actually appropriate. So... The point is, I've given, I've put out there, you know, like the knowledge of how to do it. But, you know, I hear one of the guys I listen to, his name's not coming to me right now. But the, the truth is, winners win. I don't know how to tell you to do it. You know what I mean? But the truth is, if you want to change your emotional state, if you don't like the way you're feeling right now in life, if you don't like the way you're navigating life, if you don't like the way you're feeling, you got to take control of it. You got to take control of the only thing in life that you actually have control over. And that's you. And that's your life. That's your inside here, inside here. It's inside your body. It's the only thing that's been given to you that you actually have control over. Everything else, this car could blow up right now, you know. Everything else is outside of you. You just got to do it. You feel bad? You know what? I'm not going to feel this way. I'm just not. And boom, you break it. You go do something else. You think about something else. You turn the page. I don't know how to tell you. You know, I don't know how to tell you necessarily how to do it because the truth is that gurus can tell you a million things. At the end of the day, there ain't no cookie cutter thing that's going to work for anybody. It's all of our privilege. It's all of our responsibility to do the most awesome thing in the world, which is our responsibility, which is figure it out for ourselves but yeah focus physiology conversation that'll work 90 percent of the time but sometimes it's just you just got to make a decision man a man's destiny is determined the moment he makes a decision right and his ability to stick with that decision and commit determines you know whether he gets there or not but the truth is if you want to change the way you feel you just got to take control of you your internal state decide what you're going to stand for decide what you're going to let happen inside your body inside your mind and inside your life you might not be able to control all that stuff but what's going on in here this conversation your focus and what what's driving your energy that's up to you you can change that you know like i could give you a quick story real quick right like i was on float going over to iraq and another marine walked up and smacked my wife's butt okay the truth is that absolutely everybody is always justified in their actions, right? Everybody's always justified in their actions. 
I could justify doing a lot of things in that moment. But what did I do? I said to myself, I'm not going to go, you know, let the beast out of the cage on this guy because then I'm going to get locked up and be on ship while, you know, my girl's here um, in, in, in Guam to see me before I go over to Iraq. I can't allow that to happen. I'll catch up with that guy later. Whatever, whatever. I smiled, went on my way. Boom. There you have it, right? It's, 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 it's choosing the way you're going to react, choosing the way you feel. It gives you control over your life, your internal state, and absolutely everything and anything. You're always going to be justified in any decision you make because your reticular activation system works that way. There's nothing anyone ever does that they're not justified for. There are people in this world right now killing, raping, pillaging, and doing all kinds of things. And guess what? If you talk to them, crack their mind open, they're justified. Your justifications don't make anything okay. What makes things um, valid, what validates things, and what doesn't validate th things, invalidates things, is the results you get. Okay? So your emotions are designed. It's based off of what you think. Based on what you think you know about life, that's where you get your emotions. Based on your experiences, based on what society's taught you, this is how you should react, this is how you shouldn't react. You're feeling this way because of whatever. Based on those justifications that you've acquired over your lifetime, that's where your emotions come into play to help you gain some kind of power over your situation. Remember, no one's making you feel any kind of way, all right? It's your own mind that... It's your own mind that thinks that that's the best way to feel in the situation that chooses those emotions. And just like you choose those emotions, you can choose new emotions. So that's what I got for you today. Take control of the only thing in this whole entire world that you actually have control over, which is your internal state, your focus, your physiology, and the conversation in your head. I love you guys. That's what I got. And um, booyaka. Come visit me at byronrogersmotivation.com. And I'll talk to you soon, man. I'm out.